Hello, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Cass, and I'm the fire portion of Fire and Ice Designs. And this is the next installment of our series, Why Am I Like This?, where I speed run making a bunch of outfits for us to go to Disney. Today, we are going to turn this Madame Leota fabric into this 1960s vintage style dress with massive pockets. Because where else am I going to keep my snacks and my phone? Here we go. All right, we are back to working on the Haunted Mansion dress. Mock-up is done. Modifications to the pattern have been made. Now all I have to do is iron the fabric and then we can start cutting things out, serging them, and sewing them together. Hopefully this goes smoothly. The facings should be interesting based on the pattern instructions, but that's assuming I follow the pattern instructions because, yeah. They're... The way they want me to do it, I understand why they want me to do it that way, because you're facing the neck and the armhole at the same time, but also <laughs> you're doing it before you attach the shoulder seams and then having to sew the shoulder seams together in a way that's weird. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Right now I'm going to go iron and cut things out so we can get started. Oh, and uh, there are 31 days until Disney and really it's after five o'clock today so 30 days tick tock we need to get this done okay so most of the pieces are cut out they're hanging there on the back of the chair the only piece that I didn't get cut out is the skirt front and that's not cut out because I'm gonna have to piece it because there's not enough fabric why did I cut out the back of the skirt before the front of the skirt because I didn't read the pattern pieces it's fine. I'm going to worry about that tomorrow. Tonight we're going to a party for a friend's birthday. Yay! And I'll see you in the morning. Alright, it's the next day. I have done some work this evening. We've had a long day. Uh, but all the pieces are cut out except for the facing, which I have to trace. Uh, and it's going to go around the neck edge and the armhole. And I did the... I patched can't even tell because this pattern is so busy. Uh, I did the pattern piecing because piecing is necessary when you have a skirt this massive. And I also have the pockets pinned on and I'm gonna and all the pieces pieces are searched and the darts are sewn into the bodice. So Tomorrow, I'm going to start by sewing the pockets down and attaching the skirt pieces to each other and uh, doing the facing situation because that should be an adventure. Um, and then this is coming together pretty quickly. I am going to see about getting some bias tape. Uh, to finish the skirt because it is once again a circle skirt and I once again don't have the correct color bias tape <sighs> and I definitely don't have enough I'm gonna need probably three packages of bias tape for this so that's where we are uh, and I will see you probably tomorrow so this is the 29 day until Disney Mark and here's my progress I've only been in here for about half an hour because it's been a day uh, Mondays on a Monday. Here's what I got done. Nothing's happened with the bodice other than that I picked out a zipper. This just happened to be in my stash. I think the green is a pretty good match. Cool. Uh, down here on the skirt, that's where the work happened. I attached the freaking ginormous pockets, which I love. You can't tell that they're there, but like, ooh buddy, I can hold all the snacks. It's down there, across, down to like all the way over here. So it's gonna hold lots of stuff. And then I sewed up the I sewed up the side seam on this side and then the other side the same thing except I left a gap at the top of the zipper. And tomorrow I need to trace the this part to make the facings. They're over here. They're weird check mark shapes but I have to do that for this because I 
changed the pattern and altered the armhole and all that jazz. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I can attach the facings and then attach these two pieces together and then sew them together at the side seams and then put the skirt on and then put the zipper in and then she's done. But yeah. Oh, hem. Ha. Huh. Still need to go to Joann's for hem tape. But lately, going into my local Joann's is not a fun experience. They're having staffing issues, which means they're having stocking issues, which stresses me out. Because I used to work there, and I just want to restock all the things. Anyway, I'm going to bed. I will see you tomorrow. I commit to at least 30 minutes of sewing tomorrow. It's the next day. It's almost 8.30. I'm gonna go make a cup of tea and I'm gonna set a timer for 30 minutes because I committed to 30 minutes today. I'm gonna set a timer. We'll see how far we get through the work that I need to get done in 30 minutes and whatever is done in 30 minutes, I'm gonna stop and go to bed. That's the game plan. I'll see you in a little bit. Tea is acquired. Timer is set. I'll see you in 30 minutes. This isn't a time check, but uh, the facing piece that I need to cut out of the fabric and the interfacing. You want to take a guess why it's wrinkled? Go to the comments below. I'll, I'll, I'll wait. Write down your guess. Why, why, why is this one wrinkled? If your guess was because I'm tired and not paying attention and I crumpled it up and threw it away thinking it was scrap paper, you are right and you get a gold star. I'm gonna go back to work now and hopefully not screw anything else up. If I do, I'm going to bed. Okay, so 30 minutes is up. I've gotten the facing patterns traced, as you can see, and cut out of the fabric and the interfacing and I was able to iron the inner facing to the front facings. The back facings are on the ironing board. I'll get there tomorrow. But right now, I'm going to bed. I'll see you tomorrow for another 30 minute sprint. It's been a couple of days. I'm back and I realized I did a dumb thing. Let me show you what I did. On the facing, which goes here, I have it so that it lines up to here and I have two of them but that means that this space here doesn't have anything attached to it so I'm gonna extend one of them uh, actually both of them by two and a half inches and then stitch them together here uh, so that I can then attach them to this thing Also, we're not going to talk about the fact that it's been several days, almost a week. The last clip I showed you was Tuesday. It's the following Monday. It's fine. I'm back. Where is it? <laughs> I fixed it. They're attached now into an actual proper facing. That's all one piece. I'm gonna go ahead and just leave that there because I'm not interfacing that bit. So that'll give it a little bit of extra structure. I'm gonna go ahead and attach these to the front and the back. I gotta go look at the directions again though because this is the part that I'm confused about. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that. I have about 10 more minutes this evening. So hopefully I'll get something done uh, before bed. So this whole time I've been working really hard to try to keep the two facings, the front and the back, separate so I didn't accidentally sew them together until I realized that there was a problem with the extension. And then I got it all surged and sewn together and started putting the facing on the front and was like, why doesn't it fit? See how they're different? I'm 
coming real close to just cutting out a lining for this and forgetting this whole facing situation. But right now I'm going to bed. And we're back. I've been mucking about all day and I was about to lock in with my audiobook and I realized I don't think I've checked in with you at all today about what I've done. So here we are. Uh, there's the bodice. She has her, what side is it, lining in and I'm going to do by, I sewed around the neck edge and I realized that I wasn't going to be able to do around the uh, armholes as well based on the way that I put it together. So I'm going to do around the armholes, do 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 do, around the armholes here, do do do, with bias tape because I have a whole bunch of bias tape and I can do that. Uh, this side is open for the zipper and I have also, doesn't look like a lot, I have trimmed down the skirt and I'm sewing on the bias tape to do the hem. Once I'm done hemming the skirt, I'm going to attach the skirt to the bodice and install the zipper. Actually, <laughs> I should do the armholes first. So I'll hem the skirt, I'll do the armholes on the bodice while it doesn't have the entire skirt attached to it. And then I'll attach the skirt and the bodice together and then insert the zipper and then she should be good to go. Uh, <laughs> because it's crunch time. Uh, we just sent the email to the group to verify our, like, hey, we're leaving two weeks from tomorrow. <sighs> I do this to myself. I'm going to go back to work and maybe cry. And we have a dress. It's wearable. Uh, the only thing that needs to happen is I need to sew in the lining on the bottom. I'm going to do that with some hand sewing on the couch. Uh, and then I will try it on and give it a swirl for you. You can see the uh, bias tape on the inside there. And Mama. on the hem. Mommy. I'm going to go hand sew this. And then we will see you in the reveal. So that is another project done and we have 16 days left until we're actually in Disney, but really it's 15 days until we leave. So what do I have left to do? I have to make Queen Anna and Elsa's spirit dress and maybe some Mickey ears and the shirts, which we just ordered the vinyl for that. We've got the SVGs. I've got the shirts over here. So next up, we are going to be what are we doing next? Next up is Queen Anna. That's what we're going to do next because we have to wait for the vinyl to arrive. If you liked watching this mad dash to the finish line, give this video a thumbs up. Ring the notification bell if you want to see the next installment of Why Am I Like This? And in the comments down below, let me know what is your favorite Magic Kingdom ride? Obviously, I am partial to a uh, haunted mansion. I enjoy a good Victorian Gothic home that has extra residence. Um, but let me know what's your favorite ride and I'll see you in two weeks. Bye.